Atlanta without the suspended Stian Gregerson and Noah Cobb and Caleb Wiley both away on international duty so Rob Valentino likely to go four across the back Alonso Martinez joint top scorer alongside Rodriguez is on the bench so Munsef Bakra gets the start up front Andres Pereira and Kevin O'Toole still out injured reinforcements surely on the way the funds are there but this the first of two home games this week City so strong at home Struggling away the Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta, Georgia, live on Apple TV. And this midweek match night with Atlanta playing from right to left and Lodjanice getting in for Rios to score! That's inside 20 seconds, folks, and that's the start they needed. striker Rios who's the right place right time type of striker he makes no mistake a little bit of fortune with the deflection he doesn't catch all of it but there's enough of direction so they give it away sloppy silver has got the number Going outside him now, Sonde Silva, Lodonice wants it, he gets the shot away and actually Fries had to stretch for that a little bit. What Rob Valentino said in their away match against Montreal the weekend was that we need to steal yards. Set up for a hate out by McFarlane and then turned behind as Guzan made the parry and Hernandez helps him out by putting it out for the corner. The touch and receiving it back is Sleece. Now Silva goes wide, he's got a man in the middle, he goes near post, it's then poked in by Lodonice, who's in the line, and Atlanta have a second. It is summertime, and it's all going the way of the five stripes tonight. But he shows that he has another trick in his locker. Goes to the line, he completely bowls by Tennessee Yevich. And as he squares it, Fries, he makes the initial save, but Lodgenis. For New York City too, all just filling out the spaces on the bench tonight and be used if needed. Silva now tries to cut it, it's off the post! Well, the Fries may have just got a touch to it. If he did, it was a huge, huge touch. I think he's touched it, Tony, and Silva, he's just grown in confidence, he cuts in. So then this, he takes the defensive mark away and gives a little bit of space for Silva, who opens up. This is uh, touched on by Bakra, and it was Wolf trying to make a run in towards the box. McFarlane still forward, oh, and then Guzan has made the save as Bakra got something on that. And Fernandez finds Bakra, set up for Fernandez again, trying to shoot, but through a real crowd, and ultimately straight to Brad Guzan. There's so many Atlanta kits around. Bakra spreads it. For McFarlane. There's Hannes Wolf. Oh, and there is the finish from Bakra. Why did the target? He applauds the approach play, but ultimately it needed the finish. Here's example. Love did he say. There's Brooks Lennon to cross it. And arriving is William Bunner wide. A little look at the expected goals from the leading lights tonight. Miyumba's up to point two five. Here's a chance at Bakra to get it back in, and he has! New York City score! He takes his chance. They halve the deficit. They are back in this game. A game where the next goal could be so crucial. Now everything looks okay until Sleece takes a heavy touch. And then he's trying to connect back to Williams, who's upset at him. But Bakra takes advantage of it. He's just lurking around. He's waiting for that ball to drop his way, and when it does, it's just... There's so much in terms of responsibility defensively tonight. We'll often see a lot of those dots going forward in the front half from Brooks Lennon. But that just shows how much control New York have had. Oh, Tyus Magnus being pulled down there, and it's going to be a penalty kick to New York City and a chance to level the game. From both hands of Lennon. Now, is he using it as a reference point? to guide, or is there a pull back? But the two hands from 
from Brooks Lennon as Magno goes to the other side. Is there a little bit of a pull? Slight little pull. And enough for Lucas Spala to point to the spot to the amusement of... He played only six minutes this season before entering the game as a second-half substitute. And now, Silas Magno can level the scores in Atlanta. Redemption! The man from Rio with the equaliser. It's New York City's comeback tonight in Georgia. And it's 2-2 with eight minutes to play. Mengel says, I'll take it from here as well. Steps up. Howie just slows himself down at the last second. And they've also changed the win probability dramatically. Remember, Atlanta had near enough a 90% probability of winning this game at the start of the second half. This is Lennon. Good cross. Chari, great save. Freeze. Has he kept that out? They might want to have a look at it. He will go out for a corner for now. Pressure from the home team now. 2-2. Two -two. Three minutes to play. Corner. Swung in and another header from Chari. And this time more comfortable for Freeze. Don't forget, after all the action tonight, you can see the highlights in MLS wrap up. Will they be watching an Atlanta winner? Because Silva's got a chance here for Atlanta. It's Silva! It's saved by Freeze. Who is having himself a heck of a second half. Mijanovic now. Oh, given away. This is Lennon. Still a city player down on the edge of the box. So Atlanta playing against 10. Lennon. And then the shot from Silva is saved by Freeze again. Down to his right. He's made better saves tonight. But that, another crucial one. But it breaks away. And it's Mijanovic who is fouled, and with that, maybe Atlanta's final chance has gone. It has indeed. It's all over in Atlanta, and the home side give up a two-goal half-time lead.